Welcome, Cincinnati man. We are going to watch the Amanda Stanberg video. The actress, the main actress from The Acolyte, responds to online trolls and haters, bigots alike. Um, and it's very interesting because it's been out for a few days and she said people had 72 hours to respond and people responded and they immediately got copyright struck. And that's one of the reasons why I never put music uh, uh, music or um, clips in my stuff because I'm like, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to just be like, cause you, you never know what somebody can do. And that was diabolical. That was some Joker level stuff that she did. We're going to watch this at the one minute mark. And uh, we're going to see if it's uh, as crazy as people say. Here we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, the music the music's menacing. She looking serious. She's ready. She she want all that smoke. The first thing I'm thinking about is how she shaking hamstrings. I've never seen somebody dance like this and shake hamstrings. My problem Okay. My only problem with the video so far is the tiny talk is too tiny. Like uh, Okay. I got to read this shit, huh? And that's the problem with the video. The number one problem I have with the video is I have to read it. I can't hear it. Okay, what's the truth? We so bored, we don't F with the discourse. You know what's funny? The way what are you telling me? Uh huh. Gambino, no oh, child is Gambino. Okay. Hmm. So, okay, she didn't split into three different people, and she she's uh she's hip moving. I mean, shout out to Tiny Bottoms. You know, she representing the Tiny Bottoms. Um. Is he crumping? Is that crumping? I don't know what this is. Is this crumping or not? How did she get her hair with such volume? I can't do that no more. Cause my my shit would be my shit would be back here. It'd be all it'd be, it'd be back it'd be back about right. It'd be here, and I don't want to do that. I'm loving her hair though. Tube top. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna be next one sent to an early grave. Wait, what happened? Why would you be sent to an early grave? Look, yes, your hair looks amazing. Your hair looks amazing, okay? Why is she on the fence? What was that? Is she in New York? And she just hopped away? What was that hop? How high was that vertical? I need somebody to tell me that. I ain't gonna lie, it looked like a decent hop. I don't even know how long that... Okay, okay, we, gonna, we gotta mute that. Okay, I don't know what's happening. Um... My only problem with the video is she clearly had to put the words in it 
Because if you did not put the words in it, it'd be very difficult to understand what she was saying. Um, she hit all the buzzwords, discrimination, um, misappropriation. Uh, what she say? She said, uh, I don't want to end up dead. She said something like that. Um, and y'all supposed to be speaking the truth. Everybody know the youth going to do it. Yeah, but guess what? People teach the youth. You know, it, it, it's interesting. People always be like, oh, the youth did it. Yeah, but somebody, look, tr- trust me, look. The youth always got somebody guiding them. You think just youth up and be like, yeah, it's always people guiding the youth. Um, this is my first piece of Star Wars content on my channel because I was done. My sister has never seen Star Wars. We thought about reviewing it. We might, we still will. Actually, we are going to do that. Now that I'm thinking about it. Um, I'm a long time. I'm 40 years old. I'm a long time Star Wars fan. Where I drug my friend James, who didn't give a damn about Star Wars, to the last trilogies. And each one I got madder. Each one I got mad. He was like, why are we going back? We got to go back. And I was, I was, we, he, he finished the Mandalorian and I didn't. And he still didn't care about it. Cause I was done with the Mandalorian when they made it partially about him being like a father figure to a little goopy, 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 the Grogu. And I was like, come on, man. It's like, Star Wars for is for young adults of all genders and adults of all genders. It's not one of these things where, yes, it had the Ewoks here. It had um, little stuff here and there, but it was typically that wasn't the focus. The little the 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 toys weren't the focus, as in the um, childish stuff, childish things. in Star Wars was not the focus of Star Wars. Um, also, hey, all y'all, all y'all, Kylo, Kylo Ren, and and I forgot what it was called, and Ray. No, look, she should have got with Finn. She should have got with Finn because Finn was less toxic and he was more stable. I'm mad to this day she didn't get with Finn only because of that. Finn was going to tell her some stuff and he got swapped and they never completed it. They, I, I would love to see some tension in that, but we never got it. It is what it is. Well, I'm Cincinnati, man. That's my thoughts on the video. The video that she put out, you know, she got people to respond, but they put the music in and, and it got struck. You know, very smart. Hey, guess what? I ain't do none of that. I ain't here for that. I ain't, I ain't here. To, hey, you ain't going to trick me like that. But, you know, um, the main thing about this is, is all, this is what I ask her. Is all criticism bad criticism? Because there's no such thing as nobody ever criticizing. That's not life. That's not, that's, there's no part of real life like that. And you're going to like to do a blanket statement to be like, yeah, everybody's doing it. It's not true. To a racist extent or a prejudice extent. And guess what? After I saw this shit, I still ain't watching the Acolyte. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just ain't. I ain't. This ain't gonna make this. This whole thing ain't making me watch the Acolyte. Well, y'all take care. Have a good. One.